Most of us probably think of teleportation as disappearing in shimmery stars and instantly reappearing somewhere out in the vast waste of space. But back on planet Earth, science's take on teleportation is a bit different. So what do scientists mean by teleportation? Is it possible? And if so, how might it work? And just because it's fun to ask, how close might we be to teleporting human beings? What do you think teleportation is? Taking something and moving it or shifting its energy to somewhere else somehow. Teleportation is when you can transfer your thoughts through energy to another person. No, that's telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe displacement of matter or energy from one place to another. How would things be different? I honestly think we'd have a much lazier society. The population would generally probably get a lot more overweight. Okay. So where we're currently at with teleportation really depends on how you define the term itself. If you think of teleportation as a transferring of matter instantly from one location to another, then we're nowhere near it. But if you define it as transferring the state of a thing rather than sending the thing itself, then we've made more progress. In fact, we can already do it. It's called quantum teleportation, and it's based on a phenomenon known as quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement occurs when two particles share the exact same state, even when the particles are separated. A change in one particle instantly means a change in the other particle. At the moment, researchers are focused on photons of light for this. So what exactly is entanglement? Entanglement is a concept in quantum mechanics that really says that two objects described by quantum physics, they can be particles, they can be particles of light like photons, can be linked together in a way we simply can't describe by classical physics. We call these so-called non-classical correlations. And that phenomenon, entanglement, allows us to do new things that we couldn't do in classical technology. It becomes a new kind of technological resource that we're thinking about deploying in teleportation experiments, but also in future devices like quantum computers. So from your area of expertise, what exactly is teleportation? Well, the amazing thing is teleportation is real. This is something that goes on right now, and it's becoming more and more technically viable for applications in, for instance, quantum communications or quantum computing. The fact is teleportation in quantum mechanics means teleporting information. And the idea of teleporting the information that describes something really complicated, like a person or a large piece of equipment, that is beyond our current understanding of things that we could do. It doesn't mean it's impossible, but right now that's not really what's on our target list. Quantum teleportation is fiendishly difficult, but in 1998, a team from the California Institute of Technology were the first to make it a reality. They successfully transferred the exact state of a photon, a particle of energy that carries light, from one part of their lab to another spot around a metre away. What is that in inches? Ever since then, quantum teleportation's really got a wriggle on. In 2002, a team of researchers at ANU, led by physicist Ping Kui Lam, successfully used quantum entanglement to do a similar thing with a whole laser beam of photons. And in 2017, researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences were able to change the state of an entangled pair of photons between an orbiting satellite and a telescope 1,200 kilometers apart. Oh, and if you're wondering why we care about quantum teleportation, researchers say it'll be useful for communication and encryption of data, perhaps even allowing us to build unhackable networks. So what about you and me? Where are things at with human teleportation? They're not great. For starters, to quantum teleport a human, you would have to exchange billions of entangled pairs of particles. According to experts, doing this in such a complex system is far beyond even our theoretical understanding today. And there are some more existential problems with teleportation in general. For example, if a theoretical transporter disassembled and then reassembled the atoms in your body, would the original you cease to exist and be replaced by a new being that simply thinks it's you? Or would there end up being two of you? Of course, it depends on what you really is, but it does seem possible that you could die every time you teleport, which is a workplace health and safety concern. So, is teleportation possible? Well, quantum teleportation is, but for the time being, only for a maximum distance of 1,200 kilometers. As for human teleportation, definitely not at the moment, and probably not for a very, very long time. Actually, you're better off just taking the train.